Welcome to Maker Mondays with Harris County Public Library. Today we are going to be animating our name in Scratch, an online coding tool. You can find written instructions and more for this activity at hcpl.net. For this activity, you'll need a computer, a free Google CS First account, an adult to create a free Scratch account, your awesome name, and a little imagination. We'll start off by going to the website address csfirst.withgoogle.com. There you'll click on the curriculum tab. After you're there on the curriculum page, scroll down to animate a name. Once selected, you'll look at examples and some instructions or just click the start button at the top to begin. If you'd like to complete the project in Spanish, use the second option under Animar un nombre, then click the start button. Once you've watched the videos and feel that you're ready to dive into the project, click on the starter project link. You should notice a new page open with the Scratch logo in the top left and a letter A sprite added by default. If you'd like to save your project, you will need to sign up for a Scratch account, which will require an email address. Please ask for parent or guardian permission if necessary. A sprite is an object that code can be applied to. You may have an A in your name, so you could keep it. Or, if you don't need it, you can delete it by clicking the trash icon next to it in the bottom right section of the page. I'm going to animate my name, Carla. Since I have an A in my name, I'll keep the default sprite and right click on it to duplicate it because I actually need two of the letter A for my name. I will then add three more letter sprites to spell my name. I'll add a C, R, and L so I can spell Carla. Once I have all of the letters of my name, I will arrange them on the right so that they are in the correct order to spell my name. I love the color pink. So I want to change the yellow part of each letter to pink instead. To do this, I'll click on the first letter of my name, C, then go to the costume section on the left side of the page above the code blocks. Now I'll select the orange part of the letter and click the fill drop down menu so that I can find my perfect shade of pink. Now that the first letter in my name is dressed up like I want it, I'll do the same for the rest of the letters in my name. To do this, I'll choose the paint bucket tool from the right under the fill color box. After I click each letter, I'll hover over the middle of the letter with the paint bucket tool to paint the orange pink. Now all of my letters are the color I love. Next time to change out that blank background. I will do this by clicking on the add backdrop button under the stage section at the bottom right of the page next to the added sprites. I choose the concert backdrop to go with my awesomely dressed name. Finally, I want my name to be front and center on the stage with the letters spread apart so they are not overlapping. I'll do this by moving the first and last letters of my name closer to where the front of the stage is. 
I'll click on each letter and make sure it has the same Y coordinate value. For each letter, I will leave the X values because they move them left and right, and I move them to be spaced out exactly how I want it. Now it's time to bring our name to life. First, I'll make sure that I have the letter C clicked. Then in the code tab on the far left, I am going to the events section where I will find the orange code block that says when, and it has a picture of a green flag, and I'll click on it. This will make it appear in my code block window. This block will have any code connected to it initiate once I click the green flag. I'd like my name to dance on the concert stage. So I'll go back to the code tab and click on motion. In the motion section, click on the rotate block and it'll appear in the code window. I'll move it up to attach to the green flag. In the code block, it says rotate and then it has an arrow going to the right and then the number 15 before the word degrees. Well, I could try that, but I don't think 15 degrees is enough to get my letter to do a backflip. I think I need to go all the way around. I think that's 360 degrees. Well, I could type in 360 degrees, but then my letter wouldn't do anything because it would move so fast, it would be like going nowhere. Hmm. I know, I'll split the 360 degrees into parts so that my letter rotates one part at a time until it gets back to where it was, like a backflip. So if I wanted to move four times, I'll use 90 degrees, since I know that 90 times 4 is 360. This means I'll need four of these rotate code blocks. In each one, I'll change the part where it says 15 to 90. Uh-oh, I have a little problem again. My letters are turning 90 degrees at a time, but it is still happening so fast that I, I can't tell that it's moving. I can fix this by making a little pause before each turn. To get the pause, I'll head over to the code tab and click on the control section. At the very top of the section, there is an orange code block with the word wait and an entry spot filled in with one followed by seconds. So this will make it wait for one second. I'll click it and then attach it underneath my first rotate block. Well, I need it to pause every time. So I'll do this for every single block. So under each blue rotate bo block, there will be an orange wait one second block. Then I'll click the green flag and see what happens. Looks great to me. So I'd like to do this for some more letters in my name, but not all of them. So I'd like to have the first letter of my name, then I'll skip to the third letter, which is R, and then the last letter, A, to all flip 90 degrees at a time, waiting one second until they flipped all the way around to where they were. I'll do that by clicking on the code block, starting at the top with the orange flag button, dragging it over, and hovering over the letter R. I'll see the R wiggle a little bit, and then I can let my mouse clicker go. 
I'll go over and click my R to see that all of the code has been copied from a C letter to my R, so I don't have to type it or move it all over again. I'll do the same thing for my last letter A. For the last two letters, I want them to do a little something different. I'd like them to turn around, but I'd like them to turn around to the left instead of the right. So I'll click on the second A and you guessed it, I'll go over to the motions tab, get the code block with rotate. This time I'll get the rotate block that has the arrow turning to the left. I'll still be using 90 degrees and I'll still be using a pattern of turn, wait, turn, wait, turn, wait, turn, wait. After I've finished coding my block for A, the second letter of my name, I would like the same turning to the left for the letter L. So I'll click on the top orange block, drag it over to the L. When I see it wiggle, let my mouse button go and it will copy that code block. I'll click the L to check. Now last change to my letters. Since the A and the L, the second N, fourth letter in my name, are super special. I'm also going to make them rise up before they do their flips. But if I leave them up there, then that won't spell my name. I also need to make sure that they come back down when they finish so that it still says Carla. I'll do this by clicking on the sprite where it is and writing down my Y value. The Y value is up or down, how high or low I'd like for my letter to be. Right now, I have a Y value of negative 57. I'll write that down because I need it to go back to that negative 57. Next, I'll click on the A, the second letter in my name, move it up to where I'd like it to be, and then look at the Y value again. It should have changed. Now I'll see my new Y value. I'll enter in that Y value in my next block. It's going to be moving, so you guessed it, it'll be in motion. I'll go over to the code tab and the motion section and select a code block that says set Y and then there's a number. It has a default number that could have come from where your letter was before. I'll click set Y, the blue code block, move it over, making sure I'm on my letter A, the second letter in my name. I'll move it over to underneath the flag orange code block. Then I'll type in that 36. That's where I moved the A all the way up and I liked it that far up. I then need to remember to make it come back down after it turns its flip. So at the very end of my code block, I'll click another set Y from the motion section. That code block will show up in my window and I'll drag it to the bottom of my last code block, which is a wait one second. Next, I'll type in the negative 57, which was the original place of all of my lined up letters. I can do this again for the letter L. Once I've done, I can play it all and watch it go.
I have a stage, my letters move up, the A and the L. All of my letters dance around, three going clockwise to the right, and two going counterclockwise to the left. Now, I think it's time for music. How can I have a concert and a stage and no music? So in the sound tab, I clicked add music in the bottom left. Then I typed in dance. I listened to a few of them and I decided to choose dance magic. Now I'll go back to the code tab. In the code tab, I should be on the sounds section. In the sound section, I'm looking for a code block that says start music. I'll click on it so that it appears in my code window. I only have to do this for one letter in my name because the music will play any time I click the green flag. And I have that green flag button on every single letter. Once I click on the C and I select the music section, I click the code block that says start music. The default music may be meow. I'll scroll down to dance magic and then attach this code block underneath the code block that has the flag. Once I have all of those blocks in place, I can click the green flag and play and you'll see my name dancing up and down, turning flips left and right, and rocking a concert out of this world. I hope that you'll enjoy doing the same with your name. Thanks for joining us for Maker Monday, and let us know how your animation comes out by posting to our Facebook page or tagging us on Instagram with the hashtag HCPL made it. And remember to join us every Monday for more Maker Fun. Until then, check out your local library for even more book recommendations and inspiration.